In what could have been the last home game for legendary head coach Andy Talley, the Villanova Wildcats sent him off in style. Villanova defeated St. Francis University 31-21 tonight at Villanova Stadium in the first round of the FCS playoffs. I got a chance to speak with quarterback Zach Benarzik after the game, who threw for three touchdowns. All right, so in the first quarter, you guys were going against the wind. Uh, what is it that coach told you or anything that he told you to be successful against that? Um, I, it'll, it'll affect the play calling a little bit when you're throwing into the wind. Obviously, we, we might not call a deep shot. We'll save that for the second quarter or the third quarter. And uh, he also he also just let me know if you're throwing a pass, just take it into consideration. You might have to throw it a little farther. You might have to throw it a little harder just to uh, take that wind into, a, into account. All right, you completed 12 of 13 passes, and you had three touchdowns. So um, what were you seeing on the field? I mean, I just saw a bunch of open guys, really. Uh, what, we, what we saw on film, we got a lot of things that we, we thought we would get, which was good. Um, a lot of guys got open, and uh, I mean, like Jarrett, Jarrett, that was a broken down play, really. Jarrett runs down the field, and we, we end up getting a touchdown out of it. So, I mean, just me and my receivers, we were on the same page today, which was great. All right, so the CCA is known as a very tough conference in the FCS. So um, going head-to-head -head with all these hard teams during the season, during the regular season, how does that prepare you for the postseason right now? I mean, when you're playing in the CAA, basically every game is a playoff game. And, uh, like, yeah, just coming into this game, like, we've, we've been battle-tested. We're battle-ready. And uh, we came out here and, and we protected our home field and got the win, and now we're ready to go to South Dakota. All right, so there has to be an incentive for uh, Coach Talley since this is his last go around. Um, how are you guys feeling about that? Um, I mean, we definitely wanted him, this is, since this is his last time on this field playing, we definitely wanted him to go out with a win on this. And, uh, I mean, yeah, we, we definitely want him to go out with a, a great season, but, but we don't harp on that too much. We, we, we still want to play as a team. We play for one another. I mean, definitely we play for the coaches, but, but um, we don't harp on it too much. We just go out there, we try to play the best football we can, try to win every game we can. So is there anything specifically that you will take from Coach Talley that you, he taught you on the field or off the field? Um, I mean, one thing he's, he's always told us is you got to play hard for four quarters. Um, we didn't really do that today. We, uh, second half wasn't as good as the first half. But, um, I mean, offensively, we're, we're always striving to uh, play full four full quarters of football. And that's the only way that you'll be successful against good teams. So that's our, that's our goal for next week against South Dakota State. After today's win, Villanova will head to South Dakota where they'll face the Jackrabbits of South Dakota State on Saturday, December 3rd. Reporting from Villanova Stadium, I'm Jessica Ely, a lot of sports talk.